Today we're going to talk about adding polynomials. I uh, just had somebody email me um, asking me to do um, some segments on polynomials. So uh, let's let's take care of polynomials, okay? Um, let's say you had x squared plus 7x minus 2 plus 4x squared minus 6. Okay. If you've not watched the video on um, combining like terms, I would recommend you watching that video uh, first before you uh, watch this video because polynomials, that's all we're doing is combining like terms when we add and subtract, okay? So, you have this polynomial and you want to add this polynomial. And like we talked before when in the previous videos, when you add any objects, you just want to put them together, okay? So, what I want to do, what I can do since I have a plus sign here. Since I have a plus sign here, I'm just going to drop my parentheses and I'm going to write x squared plus 7x minus 2 plus 4x squared minus 6. Minus 6. Okay? Since I just dropped my, parent my parentheses, I can combine like terms. That's all I need to do now. If you notice I have an x squared here and I have a plus 4x squared. 1x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. I only have a 7x. I only have one term with an x. So I'm just going to write this down plus 7x. Then I have minus 2 and minus 4. Minus 2, I'm sorry, minus 4 and minus 6. So minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8. So this is my final answer. And you always want to make sure when you write your final answer, you want to make sure your exponents are in descending order. I have an x squared, I have an x, and I have no x. So this is your final answer right here. Okay? Let's try another one. Let's add a negative 6x squared plus x plus x squared minus 4x. Again, since I'm adding these two polynomials, and I'm, I'm going to do a video on what is a polynomial, but um, please watch that video. It's coming. Um, so since I have a plus sign here, the only thing I need to do is drop my parentheses. Negative 6x squared plus x plus x squared minus 4x. Now I just need to combine my like terms. I have a minus 6x squared plus 6x squared, which is negative 5x squared. I have a plus x and a minus 4x. Plus x minus x is negative 3x. Now that I've combined my like terms, I want to make sure my exponents are in descending order, also known as standard form. And here's my final answer. Let's work one more. Let's say you had 
2x squared minus x plus negative 8x squared plus 6. Again, since I am adding polynomials, I'm just going to drop my parentheses. So I have 2x squared minus x minus 8x squared plus 6. Now notice, I didn't write the plus, plus minus, I'm sorry, plus negative 8x squared. I just wrote the negative 8x squared. I don't need that plus sign here. Okay? I can write plus, plus negative 8x squared, but I really don't have to. So let me combine my like terms. I have a 2x squared minus 8x squared, which is negative 6x squared. I only have one term with an x, so I'm just going to write minus x. And I only have one term that's a constant, so I'm going to write plus 6. Now that I've combined my like terms, I want to make sure my um, exponents are in descending order. So therefore, here's my final answer. Now let me let you try one. Ten x squared minus 6x minus 8 plus negative 6x squared plus 2x minus 9. If you'll please put the video on pause and I will while you work that and I'll be back. Alright, since we are adding polynomials, I just need to drop my parentheses. So I'm going to write 10x squared minus 6x minus 8. I have a plus minus, so I'm just going to write minus 6x squared plus 2x minus 9. Now I just need to combine my like terms. I have 10x squared minus 6x squared, which is 4x squared. I have a negative 6x plus 2x, which is a negative 4x. Then I have a minus 8 minus 9 which is negative 17 and here's your final answer in standard form okay I hope this video helped you please visit mathwithmoon.org for future videos and I will see you next time bye